for my people. Today's March 15th, 2023. And I have an update for you guys today. I want to share some things with you. I hope this video turns out okay. I'm doing it off of my phone. I'm not at home right now. And uh, I hope that's okay. And I hope the sound comes through uh, pretty well. I do need an upgrade on my phone at some point. But for right now, I'm not worried about that. So um, the first thing I wanted to share with you is that over the last number of videos, I've been talking to you about the water breaking and the heavenly signs that are pointing to the river. The river comes out of the constellation of Orion. Eridanus or Eridano comes out of the constellation of Orion and goes to the heavenly clock. And then all of the other signs that we see on, on uh, the spring equinox leading up to Israel's new year on March 22nd, March 23rd. All the signs are showing water with Saturn in Aquarius. There's a number of signs between the sun, moon, Jupiter, and Venus in uh, the constellation of Pisces and Cetus, the sea beast. We have two comets in the river that comes out of Orion in, in the river Eridanus. Now, last night I saw an amazing uh, video that they are showing a new discovery that there is a massive amount of water in the nebula of Orion. In uh, There's a heavenly river. There's like a massive amount of water, like an ocean, in the nebula of Orion. This is a new discovery. I want to share a clip with you guys about this, but this is amazing because we're talking about the river and all of the water signs that are connected to Orion, and now they have a new discovery of a massive ocean in the nebula of Orion. So I want to share this uh, clip with you, uh, just a little portion of it. Astronomers studying the formation of a distant star have discovered a cloud of water in space. The water, which is both regular water as we know it from Earth, as well as heavy water, water where one of the hydrogen atoms has been replaced by deuterium, could offer new insights into the origins of water in our solar system and Earth. This discovery is also intriguing because it's the first time that astronomers have been able to measure the composition of water in a protoplanetary disk. The disk of material is located roughly 1,300 light years away in the constellation Orion, called V883 Orionis. On top of teaching us more about the origin of water in our solar system, the water cloud astronomers found in space also teaches us more about star formation. According to researchers involved with a new paper, being able to measure the amount of water in a protoplanetary disk will finally help us fill in the gaps of what happens between the protostar phase and comets that are created from the leftovers of the planet formations. So what we have now is we have a new discovery of a cloud of water or a massive amount of water in the nebula of Orion and it's connected to a number they are calling V883 Orionis. Now I looked up the the number 883 in the Hebrew Strong's Concordance, and this is really, really amazing. 883 in the Strong's Hebrew Concordance is Bir Lahai Roi, 
Bir Lahai Roy, and this is the well of living water of the one that sees me a place in the desert. A well of living water or a well of the living one that sees me. It is talking about a well in the desert, a fountain or a well in the desert. It's connected to water. Isn't that amazing? So I said at the beginning of the video, I have another uh, piece of information or I have two things I want to share with you. So that was the first thing I wanted to share with you about the river of water coming out of Orion and another connection to water in that same region in the heavens. And now I want to talk to you about the Shemitah year that seems to be uh, coming up now in 2023 is the beginning of the Shemitah cycle. I want to look at Shemitah cycles from the uh, retaking of Jerusalem, the recapturing and the liberation of Jerusalem in 1967. And if we look at the Six Day War of 1967 and we follow the Shemitah cycles as the recapturing of Jerusalem is the closest thing we have, the most important uh, marker we have to where we are now from 1967. So if we follow these Shemitah cycles and we go from 1967 to 1974 is the first Shemitah cycle and then 1974 to 1981, 1981 to 1988, 1988 to 1995, 1995 to 2002, 2002 to 2009, 2009 to 2016, that is seven. So that would be the end of the 49 years from 1967, the seven Shemitah cycles in 2016. And if we go from 2016 to 2023, March 22nd of 2023 is the last day of this present Shemitah cycle and the new Shemitah begins Nisan 1 of March 23rd, 2023. Now, if we go to Nisan 1 of this present Shemitah cycle that we're in, that is going to be ending here on March 22nd of 2023, the first day of the new Shemitah cycle was Nisan 1, April 9th, 2016. I went and did some research on events that were happening during this time frame, and this is what I found exactly on April 9th of 2016. This was the first day of the Shemitah cycle that we are in right now that's going to be ending next week, March 22nd of 2023. What happened on April 9th, 2016? On this day, the news came out, non-proliferation crusader Obama ponders a visit to nuclear ground zero, Hiroshima, April 9th, 2016. So on the first day, Nissan one of this present Shemitah cycle, Barack Obama announces a visit to nuclear ground zero. This visit happened then, the first president of the United States to visit Hiroshima actually happened on May 27th of 2016. But the announcement came exactly on the first day of this Shemitah cycle, Nissan 1, April 9th, 2016. Now, I want to go back to the boom video that Barack Obama did with Queen Elizabeth. And I want to look at the date connection and the time connection to where we are coming up to the end of this Shemitah cycle. 
this boom video happened on April 29th, 2016. April 29th of 2016 was the boom video with the Invictus Games of Barack Obama. This was a biblical seven years, exactly 2,520 days, or 1,260 plus 1,260 days, taking us to March 23rd, 2023. Seven years to the day to Nissan One and the new Shemitah cycle that is going to begin here on March 23rd of 2023. Now, what is very interesting about this is the connection not only to the boom video that Barack Obama did with Queen Elizabeth, which was re released on April 29th of 2016, the very next day, April 30th of 2016, was Barack Obama's final correspondence dinner when he said at the end of his speech, Obama out and he dropped the mic and this was the same movement in the boom video the boom the dropping the mic okay so we're talking about seven years to the day from the boom video and the very next day is obama out drop the mic going to march 23rd or march 24th this is the seven-year marker from Obama's last correspondence dinner where he said goodbye to everybody, Obama out, drop the mic. This was on the Hebrew calendar, the seventh day of Passover. The seventh, the eighth day of Passover. The seventh day of the Omer, but the eighth day of Passover. This was the end of the Passover season, the last day. So it was corresponding also on the Hebrew calendar from the last day of Passover, April 30th, 2016. Obama out, dropped the mic, seven years to the day, Nissan won, 2023, which is March 23rd. Drop the mic in, Gem in Gematria is 666. So this is what I wanted to share with you, all of this information. We have all of the signs in water. This is leading up. It seems like this is the breaking of the water. This is Revelation chapter 12 after the dragon sign, which we saw with Comet E3 ZTF, how the comet came through the, the tail of the dragon, and now all of the signs are pointing to the water. And this is the birth of the woman, the breaking of the water. It's also the flood that is coming, and the and the uh, the enemy will come in like a flood, but there, there will be a flood that will come that will take the woman to safety in the desert, just like it says, Bir Lahai Roy, well of the living one that sees me a place in the desert and all of this is also connected to the constellation of orion so i wanted to put all of this together for you just to share uh, from my perspective i hope this turns out well here on my phone have a wonderful day i'll be in touch as soon as i can god bless you all this is steve fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed